We are making elderberry gummies today and we're using elderberry syrup that we also have a recipe for. But this is simple and quick after you have the elderberry syrup to be able to turn it into gummies and that way it won't stain your kids' clothes. They can eat it really quickly. I have these little molds. I'll show you this one because it's my favorite. I have these molds that are a strawberry and they hold about a tablespoon of the syrup in them. So if you need smaller sizes for littles, then get the little the little bear size ones, but the strawberry ones hold the tablespoon. And then I did have from when all my littles were here, I have these extra little syringes, which is super handy. So if you have a syringe or a medicine dropper to um, fill in the silicone molds, that is very helpful. And this can stain. So I'm being really cautious of my white countertops. And I have this on a glass tray just so it doesn't stain on my countertop. And then I will be putting it in the refrigerator. The first batch we did, we were following a different recipe and it was a little bit watered down and I decided to change it a little bit. So I'm using the syrup and instead of adding water to it, I have warm syrup. So I just warmed it up. It's about the temperature you have a baby bottle. So I'm um, just kind of warm. And then I have um, beef gelatin here. You can use any kind of gelatin. This is the kind I choose to use. This one's in our Amazon storefront if it's available because it's fall time and they go out of stock really easy. So we will have a backup gelatin um, in the Amazon storefront also. And these are also from Amazon. And I got the elderberry from Amazon also. So most of the elderberry, like the actual berries and the different spices and stuff are all in my pantry list um, on Amazon because I find that's the best price and I can get organic spices and it gets delivered to my house and win, win, win. So anyways, this is cold elderberry syrup that was in my fridge. I'm going to add a cup of elderberry cold to the bowl and then I'm going to add a quarter cup of the gelatin and then I'm going to whisk. You just whisk until it's all dissolved in there, which this time it did it pretty quickly. All right, now I'm going to add the warm elderberry in there. Okay, it's all mixed up in there and because I'm a little OCD, I don't really love the bubbles on my jams and jellies when I'm doing things and I probably won't love them on my gummies and so I'm going to scoop a little bit of those off. I'm going to give it a second to see how many pop but if they don't pop I'm going to scoop off so it doesn't seem like there's foam on the outside of the gummies but a lot of them are popping. Okay it's already starting to congeal. So there it was. And I'm just going to take the little dropper and I'm going to do the strawberries first because they make me happy. You can put coconut oil in the mold if you want to, but I found that it comes out just as easy without it. And sometimes it can leave a white residue on it, so I don't do that. It's like already turning to like a jello consistency. So another trick if this is getting too gummy for you too quickly, you can put it in a like another bowl with boiling water on the bottom like a double broiler and it will keep it looser. But I'm going to just do this quickly. But if you were doing a large batch, you can do that and it'll loosen it back up for you. Okay, I'm going to add boiling water to the bottom bowl here. I always joke that I never use a whisk unless it's cake batter. So I can lick it. Okay, that like returned it back to being more liquid. Put these in the refrigerator for like two hours before you pop them out of the molds. And then I put them on a plate for a little while before I put them in a jar. So put them in a plate to dry them out. I just left them in the refrigerator if you have enough room. You can leave them on the counter, but I just kept them in the refrigerator. And then after you put them in a jar, they stay in the refrigerator. This is super fun and easy and not making any nutritional health claims, but these are great for your family to eat.